Okay, welcome back. We've got a new problem here, and this problem is an integral, and it looks pretty intimidating at first blush. If we look at this, we've got sine x to the fourth times the cosine of x dx. We want to integrate this. This is an indefinite integral because we're not integrating from a to b. We're just finding the function that is the integral of this integrand. And so let's proceed. Now, I don't know of a particular formula that kind of resolves this into something else. So let's see if we can take this apart. What if we do a substitution? Let's just take the first term. Now one thing I do recognize is that sine and cosine have this special relationship. And that is, if I take the derivative of sine, I get cosine. And if I take the derivative of cosine, I get minus the sine. Okay? So there is a special relationship here between these two terms. And I want to keep that in mind because I'm always looking for something that's going to help me with a complicated equation like this. So let's make a substitution and see if we can maybe get some headway here. So let's say that u, some new variable u, is equal to the sine of x. Okay? And what would du dx be? So du dx is equal to, well, the derivative of sine is cosine cosine of x times the derivative of what's inside, so it's cosine x dx. All right? Did I do that wrong? Well, you just have to move the dx over. Uh, I have to move this over? Yeah. So you say du dx is cosine x, okay. therefore du is cosine x dx. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. The derivative of u du dx is cosine of x. All right? So, we can move this over, this term. What does this tell us? It's that du equals cos of x times dx. Well, if I look at this carefully, a lot of these things fall into place. I've got this right here, and that matches right here. So I've got a cosine x dx term, and that's equal to u we've said that u is equal to the sine of x, so I can rewrite this. And if I rewrite this in terms of u, what do I have? I have the integral of sine x. But it's sine x to the fourth. Well, if u is sine x, then this would be u to the fourth times cosine of x dx, but this term is equal to du. Now, this is something I can recognize. This is a simple polynomial. And the integral of any polynomial we would take to the next power and divide by that power. So this is going to be u to the fifth divided by 5. That's a very simple integral. We've got some constant of integration here on the outside that we want to keep track of. But now we have to take our substitution and apply it to this. And so what we really have is the integral is equal to sine of x, which is u, but that's to the fifth power over 5 plus c. And that's what this integral is equal to. So if this is i, the integral, then i is equal to this equation. And this fully solves this. So we would need some limits of integration, some more information in order to determine what the integration constant is. But for now, given that this is an indifferent indefinite integral, we can just leave it in this form. So this is a sub substitution that made the solution of this rather complicated integral almost trivial.